Hey YouTube fam! If you're looking for easy plant-based breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snack ideas that won't require you to spend hours in the kitchen, then join me as I share some of the simple recipes that I feed my large vegan family of six when I'm short on time but still need to get the job done. One of the first recipes that I learned to cook when transitioning to a plant-based lifestyle was a basic tofu scramble. And once I got the hang of it, I started experimenting with seasonings and toppings to make the meal even more delicious and satisfying. One of my go-to easy breakfast meals is tofu and potato hash with veggies, black beans, and sausage. You can use any type of potatoes and vegetables you have on hand. Today, I use russet potatoes, colored peppers, red onions, tomatoes, and kale. After dicing the vegetables, I put them aside and season the potatoes with salt, pepper, garlic powder, Cajun seasoning, and olive oil. I threw the potatoes into a 450 degree oven to cook while I prepared the tofu scramble and plant-based sausage. While the sausage cooked through, I crumbled my tofu into some melted butter and seasoned it with black salt, black pepper, and turmeric. Once the tofu started to brown, I added the diced tomatoes and pre-cooked black beans and set it aside. By this point, and once my potatoes were cooked through, I mixed in the diced peppers, onions, kale, the tofu scramble, and the sausage, sprinkled the top with our favorite vegan shredded cheese, and a drizzle of olive oil and then pop the hash back into the oven for an additional 15 minutes until the flavors came together and the potatoes crisped up. This is how everything looked when it came out of the oven. Super delicious, comforting, and protein packed. Today, I paired this up with blueberry smoothies that I made with frozen blueberries, plant-based yogurt, plant-based milk, coconut water, and a few tablespoons of ground flax seeds. And just like that, breakfast was ready. Lunch was even easier than breakfast. Stir fried udon noodles with fresh vegetables and chia seeds. This meal is all about the flavorful sauce, which is made with light soy sauce, dark soy sauce, vegan oyster sauce, rice wine vinegar, sriracha, I was out so use hot sauce instead, red pepper flakes, and a couple of tablespoons of brown sugar. I mixed up all of the flavors and took it to the wok where I started with a couple of tablespoons of peanut oil and then added my pre-sliced peppers, onions, and carrots. When they softened up but were still crisp, I added diced garlic and ginger, my stir-fry sauce, and a few packs of fresh udon noodles. I mixed everything together, topped the noodles with green onions, and then added a few tablespoons of chia seeds for protein and fiber. And there you have it, a one pot, easy lunch that takes less than 20 minutes to prepare. Tonight, I kept dinner really simple, spaghetti and hot dogs with mixed berry smoothies. I started by prepping the base for my simple spaghetti sauce, diced red onions and garlic. Once those were diced up, I boiled up a pot of salted water and to another pot, I added some olive oil and began to sweat out the onions with salt, garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, Italian seasoning, and turmeric. I mixed that together and then added in my diced garlic followed by a can of crushed tomatoes and a can of peeled tomatoes. I covered the pot with the lid to let the flavors come together while the spaghetti cooked down. Halfway through, I mashed up the peeled tomatoes in the sauce, added nutritional yeast for additional flavor and nutrition, and then topped it with my chopped basil. Once my spaghetti was ready, I added it to my sauce with some pasta water, and then finally added a couple of tablespoons of dried parsley. Once my spaghetti was cooked, I grilled up our favorite plant-based hot dogs and prepared a mango berry smoothie made with frozen watermelon, mangoes, berries, blueberry yogurt, coconut water, and ground flax seeds. Just like that fam, dinner is ready. Fresh spaghetti with grilled hot dogs, topped with nutritious sauerkraut, and served with a nourishing smoothie. This meal is really easy to make and is a fan favorite. Now if you're anything like me and my family and can't go most days without a sweet treat, then these Smart Sweets candies are a great option. The sweet fish and peach rings are way healthier than the store-bought alternatives. No artificial sweeteners or synthetic food dyes here, just a delicious, guilt-free snack and the perfect way for my vegan family of six to end our day.